disheartening. It is disheartening. It is a clear attack on the rights of black and brown voters and voters with disability who turned out in record numbers to vote in the 2020 election. We must be vocal. We must continue to be vigilant. The closing arguments on February 13th. So they've been fighting. Our, our attorneys have been fighting as hard as they can. We're just going to pray that something, some change will come. But the world needs deltas everywhere and all of our partners as well to lead the March for Justice here in the USA and around the world. This year marks the 60th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Here we are 60 years later, and there are concerted efforts to peel back the progress gained by the signing of that law. Right here in Texas and in 40 plus other states as well, there are those who want to suppress voter registration, draw new district lines that make it difficult for people of color to get out to vote, and of course, try to erase the history of African Americans by reshaping educational curriculum. So the world needs each of you here today to put the action in social action through various initiatives. Register voters, get out the vote, spread awareness on important issues, educate the community on new voting laws. They're gonna try to keep us from voting, but we gotta vote anyway. We have to elevate the voices of the community in the quest for a more equitable and just future. The world needs Delta Sigma Theta. Now my sister, the world needs you to show up, not, to, not just at Delta Days at the nation's capital. And I know a lot of you are coming since it's sold out in like four days. <laughs> not just for Delta Days at the state capital, record attendance last year. I know y'all coming with it. It's in April, stay tuned. <laughs> We want you there too. We need you at every single governmental level. Show up at congressional district offices. Well, we need to go to, uh, we know she's a friend. We need to go to all of the offices. Congressional district offices. Show up at city hall. Show up at city council. Show up at the school board. Let me say it again. Show up at the school board. The school board. like so as, uh, San Antonio and other parts of the state have, that have shown up every single day for the voting rights trial. Every day there was someone with crimson and cream in the room. And all those places that I just named, those doors do not need to be open unless there's someone in crimson and cream. Make a list, take turns, decide who's going this month, make sure you understand the agenda and go and speak out on the issues that we know are affecting our communities. That's something that each and every one of us can do. And my brothers and sisters and other organizations, all of us can do it too. We can even pick up, pick up a neutral club or wear that, but just know <laughs> that we need to show up. It's really, really important to show up. In the words of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, we are confronted with the fierce urgency of now. The stakes are high in this 2024 presidential election year. The stakes are high. It is important for us to continue to fight for the democracy of this country. We cannot let the country be taken away from us, especially for those who don't even think we belong here. <laughs> this isn't a game, the stakes are high. We have to remain vigilant and outspoken. As long as there are continued threats to our right to vote, right to body autonomy, and our right to equitable health care, as long as there are prolonged incidences of racism and radicalized violence, as long as there are parents afraid to send their children to school because they don't know if they will return at night and the children afraid to go, as long as there are too many examples of excessive force by some police resulting in the deaths of so many that look like us, as long as there are those in every state working to ban books, close libraries, censure the truth, create revisionist history, and other attacks that may aim to erase our history, the world needs the power of Delta Sigma the power of each one of us. With the stakes being so high, the world needs the power of Delta as well as our collective partnerships we continue to make with D9 and other organizations. And let's keep in mind, as we all work together, 
We all are human. We each have feelings. We need to remember that words written or spoken can hurt. Yeah. We all need to follow the standard of behavior online that we follow in real life. This is crazy out there. Yeah. We all need to be ethical, embrace one another for the differences within our groups or organizations. I'm challenging all of us here to model the type of sisterhood that would make our founders proud. We need each of us to bring the best in ourselves and offer each other grace, understanding, empathy, and sisterly love. Can everyone here tell me they're ready to lighten another's load when you see they are overwhelmed while not gossiping or critiquing? Are you ready to embrace others for what they can do rather than exclude them for what they can't do? Are you ready to lend a listening ear for what they can uh, can do whether they exclude them from what they can. Are you ready to lend a listening ear for concerns that just aren't related to your sorority and others, your sorority fraternity or other organization? Are you ready to respect differing opinions? Healthy conflict is fine, but life is too short and that conflict becomes a hindrance to our greater purpose. Our journey in Delta is starting with the 22, but the survival depends upon each of every one of us. The power of one on one accord. Our founders and past presidents and all those came before us gave us the blueprint to make sure we remain relevant for such a time as this. We need to make sure that we continue to highlight, embrace our brand, protect Delta Strong brand, and other organizations I know you are saying you need to do the same. But for a Delta, the power of one, one Delta, one sisterhood representing one brand. And just think about that fact that one person can make a difference.